Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Brisbane. I'm a neurosurgeon and I specialize in trigeminal neuralgia. And I'll be speaking to you now about the topic of trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a condition where people experience severe facial pain in the area of the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve supplies sensation from the top of the head down to the jaw and chin, so the pains can be experienced anywhere in this area. Usually the pain is experienced more in the lower part of the face, in the cheek and jaw area, in the upper and lower lips and upper and lower teeth, but it can be experienced in the eye, forehead, and top of the head as well. The pain is usually experienced only in one side of the face, but can at different times be experienced on the other side as well. The pain is usually a sudden, sharp, severe pain that is often described as electric shock or stabbing in nature. The pains come on suddenly, last a brief period of time, and then go away pretty quickly as well. The pain is particularly sensitive to anti-seizure medicines, in particular Tegretol, Trileptol, Neurontin, and Lyrica. In fact, a patient who has no response to these medicines in their pain and is able to tolerate these medicines, we will often question is, they, is the diagnosis in fact trigeminal neuralgia or not. Trigeminal neuralgia is usually caused by a small blood vessel, a little artery, sometimes a vein, that's pinching the trigeminal nerve inside the brain. It's kind of similar to someone who has a herniated disc in their back and the disc pinches the nerve that runs down the leg and people can experience a sciatica or leg pain even though the problem is deep inside the back. Similarly, with trigeminal neuralgia, people experience pain in their face even though the origin or cause of the pain is inside the head. The workup is usually a, an MRI or in patients with a pacemaker we would get a CAT scan of the brain to make sure there's nothing else abnormal that we see in the head. For those patients who do not have a small blood vessel causing the trigeminal neuralgia, the next most common cause is multiple sclerosis and the le least most common cause would be a small mass like a tumor against the trigeminal nerve. In some rare cases we do not know the cause of the trigeminal neuralgia at all. The first line treatment is going to be anti-seizure medicines such as the Tegretol, Trileptol, Neurontin, or Lyrica. If these are not successful at, at relieving the pain or the patient is experiencing significant side effects from these medicines, then a procedure can be considered. There are two major types of procedures that we can do. One type of procedure involves moving the blood vessel away from the nerve. This involves an operation that takes about two hours and is done under general anesthesia. A small incision is made behind the ear on the affected side. We then remove a little piece of bone behind the ear and under the microscope we move the blood vessel away from the nerve and then insert a small sponge between the blood vessel and nerve. This operation does have some risk although it's very very small and has the benefit of working right away usually and having the best chance of being curative. It's best for people who have trigeminal neuralgia who are young, healthy, and do not have multiple sclerosis. For other patients, another option that can be considered is sort of a nerve injury or nerve block procedure, and it's been found in trigeminal neuralgia that this can also help alleviate the pain. There are two ways of doing this nerve injury procedure, and they're both done as an outpatient basis. Way number one involves putting a needle into the cheek under sedation in the operating room, and threading the needle up into the nerve, sort of a nerve block, and then either heating the nerve or injecting alcohol in the nerve or inflating a balloon against the nerve to injure the nerve a little bit. And then the needle is then withdrawn. Another way of injuring the nerve, also on, on, done on an outpatient basis, involves super-focused radiation or stereotactic radiosurgery with machines such as the gamma knife or cyber knife. There's no actual knife involved in this procedure. Again, this is outpatient. People come in, they get the one-day super-focused treatment of radiation on the nerve, and then they go home. The super-focused radiation often takes a few weeks to work. The needle procedure, or the rhizotomy, usually works right away. The benefits of the nerve block procedures are that they are outpatient, lower overall risk. The downsides to them, compared to the MVD, are that they are more likely to have recurrences because the nerve can regrow over time and there is a little more chance of new numbness, tingling, or achy feelings in the face from over-injury of the nerve. 
That having been said, they can be very effective and are particularly good for people who are older, people who have significant medical problems, or people with multiple sclerosis. In summary, trigeminal neuralgia is a very painful condition. However, we have good treatments for it, and if one treatment doesn't work, often another one will. Thank you.